Our next project is Dr. Nim, and we watched a little video in class about this from Stand Up Maths, um, Matt Parker. But let's just explain what we're doing here. So these green discs are representing uh, marbles. And so let me click on the rules button here. So basically it's the human against the computer. And so the human player may select one, two, or three marbles to remove from the board at one time. And I've got buttons on the, um, the bottom right here. So you can choose one, two, or three of these. Um, and then after the human uh, removes their marbles, then the computer will play and they have the same rules. They can remove one, two, or three marbles in each turn. And the goal is to be the player who gets that last marble. So like this marble up here, whoever gets that last marble wins. So they don't have to get just one last marble. So if you're kind of in that last group that you can get them, you're going to win. So, um, Ask me here, human, how many marbles do I choose? So let's say I just pick one marble, and we should see that one marble um, disappear. Now the computer is choosing three marbles, and we saw those disappear. Now it's my turn again, so hmm, maybe this time I'll take three marbles, and you'll see three marbles kind of disappear. Now the computer just chose one. Uh, now I get to go, not looking real good for me. Let's say this time I take two. Now the computer is going to win because they can choose one, two, or three marbles. So since there's two left, the computer wants to get that last marble, so the computer will take two of them. So the computer won this round. Um, let's see if I can uh, get this again. And so your, your program should have the same way of kind of replaying without having to kind of go outside the program. So I've just got a little button here to say play again. So let's see, now I can't even remember what I picked last time as my first go. Um, I'm going to choose... Uh, one marble. Now the computer chose three to take off. Now it's my turn again. Maybe I'll take one again. Maybe that's it. Maybe I should always stick with my original thought. And again, not looking too good here. So if I take my maximum marbles, there's still one left. And so the computer is going to win again. So the computer keeps on beating me. But that is the general idea here of Dr. Nim. So if I just put the, the marbles back up there, it's basically human playing computer. Uh, during each turn, the human or the computer, whoever is playing, can take one, two, or three marbles off the board, and the player that gets that last marble is going to win. So let's see if you can kind of figure this game out as well. Um, in your programs, I would like to see a very clear um, way for the player to know if it's the human going or the computer going, and it should be pretty clear what the computer has done and what you have done, how many you have taken. There should be some way of seeing instructions along the way if you don't remember. There should be some way of having a user select how many of the marbles they want to remove. Uh, I know yours will look way better than mine, but um, as long as we all have those same basic uh, rules and um, again you will have in Google Classroom the exact um, specifications for this particular project. Good luck!